Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I have a super fun mixed media project for you this week. You can do yours on an art journal like me, or you could do it on a piece of paper or a panel. We're gonna cut up some collage paper, play with some stencils, and glue down some images to make a beautiful mixed media art piece. Nope. The first thing I want to do is just show you the images that I'm using so you can kind of understand where I'm going with all of this. And what I did was I went on Pinterest and if you like these pictures or you want some inspiration, there is a Pinterest board on my Pinterest which is linked below and in the Pinterest board that's marked YouTube is a whole bunch of images you're free to go in and use the same ones if you like or pick from some of the others but here's some images of two women looking mysterious standing in the water I like having some mystery in the page sometimes and then this is just a piece of a greenhouse and if you'll notice the way that I chose these was Everything's very high contrast, and if you're going to use images as focal points, you want them to be not so busy that it doesn't stand out when you put it on the page. So I've got my paints over here. This is a Cad Yellow Deep, Cad Yellow Light. I've got white. This is a light green that Liquitex makes, and this is Mars Black. And I'm just gonna use these with some stencils to make a really fun background. This is just about playing and making a mess and getting something down on the page for a background. So much of this will get covered up later on in your pages that if you're following along with this, just don't even worry really so much about what you're doing with the stencils. It's just about playing. So I'm done making a background, I've covered up all the pages, and all I did was just play with the stencils and some warms and cool greens, and then put some darks on there. And it's just to get the background going, that's it. So these are my pictures again, and all I'm gonna do is pick one of these women in the greenhouse and go ahead and get these down on the page so I can get something going. And then once I've got them glued down, I'm gonna go ahead and just start integrating them with some paint and some marks so they look like they belong on these pages, okay? Okay, so these are nice and integrated. What I did was I just glued my images on in a way that they felt balanced to me, and then I took some darks and I just made some marks and vignetted the photos to push them into the background and give the composition some weight to it. And then I also came back in with my stencil and my cool green, and I just added some of those vines back in that got covered up. These ones, 
aren't as muddy as the other ones, so they're coming forward a little bit more, and also that helps to push the photos into the scene on the spread. I have a piece of craft paper here. You can really use anything. You can use printer paper. It doesn't matter. This is just something for me to throw some paint on. What I'm gonna do is take a small chunk of this and use it to almost make a like little piece of vintage wallpaper that I can cut up and add on to my spread as tiles. I don't need a lot of them because I wanna add a little bit of collage paper on there too that's already pre-printed and have those mixed together. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a piece about that big. And since most of my background is pretty dark, it's mid-tone to dark, I'm gonna make these a little bit lighter. And for this, you can really do any kind of a pattern you wanna do. You could do stripes. You could do just like a little simple flower pattern in some rows. It's really whatever you want. Now that I have a couple of pieces of the little vintage wallpaper that I made for this, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some piece of pre-printed collage paper that I had lying around the studio. This is just from one of those scrapbooking paper books or pads that you can get from the art supply store. So they have lots of varieties and a lot of them have botanical things. So these are handy to have around. I'm gonna go ahead and play with these and play with the shapes I have on here and glue everything down. So I took a little break because it was getting dark out yesterday, which means it was getting dark in my studio. So I'm just finishing this up now. Okay, so all I did to finish this up was seal this with some clear gesso. You could use gel medium. Just be mindful if you use anything that's like a gel medium instead of a gesso, your pages are gonna stick together. So put some wax paper or some parchment paper in between. But that's all I did was go in, seal it, and made up a little bit of a glaze with some cad yellow light and some black paint and put that green everywhere and spritzed it with some water to get this sort of watery, transparent look and then came back in with the same color and just put some darks in for brush strokes. And it just has this really vintage, moody garden look and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. That's it for this week. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I put out new videos each and every week on all sorts of mixed media art topics. Thanks for watching.